The second half of April sees a shower of meteors or shooting stars known as the Lyrids. In the next couple of minutes, I'd like to take you through what they are and how to spot them. Now, all the time, small pieces of interplanetary debris, meteoroids, burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Most of them are very small around the size of a grain of sand, but they're traveling really quickly, anything from 10 to 70 kilometers each second. This means that even such tiny particles quickly heat up and are destroyed as they run into the air around our planet. The atmosphere around them glows briefly as a streak of light, which is what we see as a meteor from the ground. On any clear night, we see a few random meteors, but there are also showers of meteors over the year too. And in the second half of April is the Lyrid meteor shower. The Lyrids are from the tail of Comet Thatcher, which last came close to the sun in 1861. This comet takes more than 400 years to complete its orbit, so we can look forward to seeing it again in the 23rd century. But like all comets, Thatcher leaves a stream of debris in its wake. When the Earth runs into that, some of it burns up in our atmosphere, meaning we see more meteors than usual. Because of the way we intercept the trail of material, the meteors also appear to come from a point in the sky, the radiant in the constellation of Lyra, so called the Lyrids. This year, the Lyrids peak on the night of 21st to 22nd of April. If you have a good dark sky, you might see around 10 of them each hour. The shower tends to produce quite bright meteors, which makes things a bit easier in towns and cities. And there's also no moon visible to interfere with the view. So how can you see the lyrids? The good news is that you don't need any special equipment other than your eyes. It's best to wait until the small hours, around three o'clock in the morning, when the radiant will be high overhead in the northern hemisphere. It's a good idea to wrap up well, obviously, and if you have one, to use something like a deck chair to lie down and look up at the sky. If you're lucky, then on average, you should see your lyric every few minutes or so. Do be patient, as meteors can be like buses. None for ages, then three come at once. If you do get to see some lyrics, then why not let us know? Tweet us at Royal Astro Sock and we'll share your experience. In the meantime, stay well and enjoy the skies. <laughs>